Hi YouTube, and this is JTrain997, back with another G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra review. And this time it's going to be my Crimson Hydra with Aero Viper from the deluxe line of vessels. Now, you can get a quick look at this bad boy in the packaging. A very, very big box. Um, as compared to the next vessel I'll be reviewing, the Dragon Hawk, you can see that it easily dwarfs the size. I mean, this thing may even be double. Ugh, gotta pan out. I don't know about double, but it's definitely bigger. So, a huge vessel. Um, definitely the biggest one they've made so far. So, on to the review. Let's get this bad boy over here. You see the side art? Side art. Down here, the Aero Viper file card says, Aero Vipers are combat and reconnaissance pilots for the Cobra organization. They are trained in stealth and evasion tactics to conduct clandestine operations for the secretive research company. These elite pilots fly the company's most advanced stealth jets. Preferred weapon Mars Industry CW-60 concealed wing air-to-air -air rocket. So, on to the back of the box. It says, the Crimson Hydra jet is designed for stealth operations that must leave no trace or signature. This advanced aircraft from Mars Industries has advanced technology that suppresses all known detection systems and is equipped with unmanned flight programmability. The release pod deploys from the jet's underbelly for below radar infiltration or escape. So it says, folding landing gears, sliding stabilizers and wings open to reveal rocket launchers, and pull trigger to deploy underbelly release pod. So this is a very awesome vessel just from the look of the box. Can't wait to pull it out of package. Let's see what this bad boy's like. And here it is out of the box after full sticker application. You can see the Aero Viper here. His helmet does, of course, come off. Pops right back on. Articulation is standard. Nothing's really hindered. Of course, does not come with a weapon or base. But a solid figure, nonetheless. Interesting to see a little removable helmet. So, throwing him off to the side. This is the Crimson Hydra, a very, very big plane. Quite possibly, um, besides the Air Viper, the biggest vessel they've made so far. So, it of course has its detachable weapon over here on the side. This can go on, on either side, as you can see here. Uh, although this side, it, well, I thought it could go on this side. Yeah, there it goes. Uh, pulling it off. Of course, it on the bottom. Surprisingly nice detail. A lot of sticker application went onto the bottom of this. The landing gears do of course flip up and fold down. Um, wheels are free rolling. Very nice seeing as the um, Night Raven did not have free rolling wheels. One problem though is that they like to snap shut when you're um, just rolling the plane. But other than that, it's still very solid. Cockpit, of course, opens. You can see there's some nice detail in there. But if you push the hood back too far, it, of course, pops off. Snaps back on easy enough. I would just like to see a more solid connection for it. Let's get him in here. Aero Viper fits snugly. Of course, it only fits on one pilot. These wings, of course, slide. And they like to get jammed a little, though. Slide right back out. To get the deployable wings out, you pull this back. These two flip out. And there's a button right here that fires your missile. Very um, thin missile. And it's red, so it doesn't really sh um, show up very well. Would have liked to have seen a little more detail, but oh well. So yeah, very, very nice on the interior. Of course, it folds right back up slide the tail forward, it stays. Of course the um, escape pod is down here. No button you can hit to make the dis escape pod deploy. Was really hoping for something you could just press the button and it would drop out, but let's see. Basically you're just supposed to hold on to the fan until it falls out on its own accord. Um, surprisingly nice detail on this as well. Let's get the pilot out of the Crimson Hydra. Cautiously that, he slides right in, latch closes, so still a very solid um, little accessory, wish they would have had some way to launch it, but oh well, it's still cool, of course the expandable wings for the spy plane or escape pod, whatever you like to call it, so really nice little feature, of course it um, 
pops right back up in the underbelly of the Crimson Hydra. If you, you have to make sure this little rear peg is aligned with the thruster, but there you go. Popping it back out. So overall, um, the Crimson Hydra is a really impressive deluxe class vessel. Now it's not perfect, it has its share of flaws. Would have liked to have seen a little more sturdiness to the landing gear and the overall um, main cockpit hood attachment. But it's still a pretty cool figure. A lot of neat accessories, a lot of interesting little details that really bring this plane up to par. $25 is an absolute steal for this, um, especially for the size alone. I thought they would have jacked up the price a bit. But I am absolutely loving the Crimson Hydra. Um, it's going to look great on a shelf. Sticker application wasn't a pain. This is JTrain 997. I give the Crimson Hydra with Aero Viper a very solid 9 out of 10. I definitely recommend it if you can find this bad boy and pick him up. And without further ado, this is JTrain 997 saying I'll see you soon, YouTube.